You probably thought that we forfeit. I know you hope, but we quit. No way. We been on it. We still on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that time for another Project Breakdown, episode 120. Shout out to my sponsors, Dez, for the Bluetooth, you know what I mean? Wordzilla, all over it. Young Addison, and of course myself, you know what I mean? Shout out to y'all, but today we are breaking down, I already picked it out the jar. I didn't look, but I just did it previously. We are breaking down. It's the second official VA Pitbull album and the last. <laughs> VA Pits, Virginia Pitbulls. That's what it's short for. Myself, my blood cousin Low Pro, which is my mom's brother's son, and Unknown. Unknown, I spoke to y'all about before. It's not my blood cousin, but we was calling each other cousins. So that's where VA Pits come from. Now, Unknown's little brother, Rico, a.k.a. Prime Killer, rest in peace, Rico, he was an added member, as well as Boom, or Pyro. But like I said, the three main members was myself, Low Pro, and Unknown. And I don't even think we actually got Boom on a record. I just got him on DVD spitting. We didn't even get to get Boom on a record, but he's always part of the fam. Speaking of fam, the second click, or like we was trying to make this the label, was Fam Click, Forever About Money. Because like I say, all three of us were related um and between all of us we all were related because like i said prime killer and unrelated me and pro related and you know that's how we kept it so it was fam click forever about money but va pits was the squad that we was running with as far as promoting as far as songs and stuff like that fam click was just like you know the umbrella or the, or the street squad now i gotta get with low pro to find out what happened in between this time period where he stopped making beats because I know I got locked up in 03. I was up in Richmond, which is like an hour and a half away. Pro really wasn't focused on music, to my knowledge anyway. So I don't know if he got rid of the equipment. I don't know if he just stopped or what, but between 03 and 08, he had came up to Richmond with me and kind of got his groove back on the keyboards of the dude who I was recording with up there. So one of them tracks he did end up being on his project. But like I say, he didn't have much production on this on this album. We were signed to Major Movement. Once Unknown got out and we did Off the Leash, we signed the Bigs with Major Movement, and that's what we did this project under. So during this time, we decided to add another member of the squad. He was always around us. Uh, my homegirl Tips, best friend, was dating him. They married now, but he was always around, and he got lyrics, and he could sing. And we just put him into the squad, man. A loyal dude, man. He's he's a Marine. So, I mean, you already know how they carry it, man. Like, he's super loyal, super upfront, straightforward. Um, and he just fit. He's a perfect fit. So, we added him to the squad. And he's on a couple records up here, too. So, you know, as I go through the projects and I mention AB, now y'all know who he is. So, yeah, man, let's get into this project breakdown. This first joint is called Living a Lie. Now, when Un came home, he had folders and folders of raps. You know what I mean, two, three hundred raps, easy, maybe more. And he said he lost some. But I believe this was one of the joints that he had already, and I just put my verse to it. I don't remember writing this together. But it's called, like I said, it's called Living a Lie. Like, rappers who telling a bunch of war stories. You got 95 bodies, you know, bricks in the trunk. You know Pablo. Stop. You living a lie, man. We don't want to hear that. And also, if you think we ain't going to do our thing, then you definitely living a lie. Unknown did the hook. Me and Unknown the verses. This next joint is called Contagious. What we say, you repeat it. It's contagious. We sick on the mic. You be around us long enough, you'll be sick too. It's contagious. Me and Un again, this beat had the heat wave sample. I, I love this beat. It's dope. I want to say Low Pro made it, but I'm not quite sure. However, it's on YouTube. Check it out. And I know this one of the ones that me and Un wrote together. It's not one of the ones that we pieced up from him being in and me being out. So, um, I, I want to say we wrote this in Green Bar too, a tip, a tip pad. Stay scheming. Rappers trying to spit like G. Dog. This one called Come Clean. It's another scheme joint, man. This time I did toothpaste. I know did deodorant. This is his first time doing a scheme like this. Or on a record with me anyway. Uh, I don't recall hearing him do it before. But it was dope, man. He executed it like a pro, you know. And we had great chemistry, y'all. Me and Un had great chemistry. So um, I already knew he was going to do what he had to do. 
usually this is this is the type of joint I want to keep for myself. But I'm like, man, Cud got this. And he knocked it out, man. So it's on YouTube. Go check it out. This next joint was the weak mind frame that we had back in the day. You know what I mean, the song was called Bottle on Me. And I'm going to keep this brief. This is how we used to think. This is this is how weak we used to think. Bottle on me, tree on me, room on me. You already know what's up. Next record, though. Power of the and the. And there is power in that, man. You know, whether you believe it or not. Some people lust it so much that they relinquish their power to somebody else. Some people, you know, withhold so much that they, they own the power. You, know, you can. I've seen women control men by their desire to want them, but not getting them yet. They had jumped through loops and hoops and circles and fire and not even get it. Just know your value and you don't got to jump on every pogo stick. and You don't got to dive head first in every pool. Now, this joint also features AB. This is myself, Unknown, and AB. So, shout out to AB, man. He did his thing, too. This joint is another one we pieced up together. It's called Oh My. It's about your hat and your shoe game being crazy to the point where people are like, Oh My. And I used to love talking about my hats and my shoes. So, you know, that was never no problem. In Virginia, we wear any kind of hat we want. I don't wear too many snapbacks out here because the basketball and football teams mean some certain hoods. And I don't even get into the politics. So I just respect the game culture. And I wear Wardzilla. You know what I mean? Or the stickiest over there. It's about your shoes and your hats being crazy. And they like, oh, my. I remember we was in uh, Florida. Rest in peace of my nephew. We was in Florida. Uh, rest in peace of my nephew, D. We was in Florida. And he had on some Alexander McLean's. I, I don't even know how to say it. Alexander McQueen, McLean, McLaren. I don't know. But anyway, he had on them. And we walked by. He was like, and man, I had on some crazy shoes. I had on some crazy DCs. I don't know what I had on. But it was some... I always wear crazy DCs, especially when I'm out around them. But he didn't say nothing about my shoes. He looked at a few joints, and he was like, what's those? And he was like, oh, these are Alexander McQueen. Whatever they is, he had a deep voice. And he was like, oh, oh, they different. So every time me and nephew would talk, that's what I always would be like. I'd be like, Phew, you different. The way he said it was like he said different with a Y. But, um, yeah, man, I miss my nephew, man. Hey, this joint is, uh, like I say, oh, my. And his his shoe game and my and my other nephew Charlie, they shoe game is ridiculous. I mean ridiculous. Oh, and Jalen too. <sighs> my cousin Jalen. Hey man, young boy's holding it down, man. My salute, man. I can put mine up. A lot of times, well, not a lot, but sometimes I would come up with a hook and it it just didn't fit me, so I would pass up on it. But this song got it on lock. I didn't pass up on it because I love the flow. The flow was just crazy, you know? So that's why I got up on this joint. The hook don't always it don't all the way fit me. It's not it's not everything that I do. But um, you know, we still had it on lock, man. You know, we had these raps on lock. Um, any cipher we was in, we had it on lock. Like we we not to brag or nothing, but we just did our thing, man. You know, through the grace of God. So this joint was called Got It On Lock, Un on the Hook, just me and Un on the verse. This next joint is called Cut You Off. Definitely produced by Biggs. Just me and Un on the record. I'll cut you off. You know, gotta let you go. Friend, family, old homie, day one, yesterday, it don't matter. Like, if you're not bringing something positive to the table, if it's nothing we can exchange, if it's if I can't grow from you, you know, then what we'll, we'll be doing, man. You know, because I'm definitely here to help my friends grow. I'm definitely here to support my friends. I'm definitely here to champion my friends. It don't have, nothing has to be financial. Everything can be moral. You know what I mean? I got some friends that only support morally, and they're some of my best supporters. So, yeah, man, um, that's all we were looking for back then. We're just somebody to come to the shows or, you know, somebody maybe put a couple of dollars on the studio time if you want a free CD. You know, other than that, just don't ask us for a free CD. Buy the CD. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Cut you off real quick. And I have something to say way down, man. Aries gang. <laughs> this next joint is called F the BS. And this is definitely produced by Biggs. So when we sign to the label, we get like, I think it's like a four hour block every week or two or three hour block. And you get free beats. You know what I mean? So when we came in the studio for our block, he was making this beat. And we say, we want this beat. So we got the beat. 
By the time we finished making the beat, man, our verses were done. I think I had mine in the tuck. I'm pretty sure Un had one in the tuck because he had a million from from you know from the pen. And we knocked it out, man, and did some more records. But this was fun because I liked the beat. The beat was so it's so much to the beat. It's so exciting and big. Was amp when he was making the beat. He really loved it. I hope he liked what we did to it. I don't know, but there's no concept or nothing. We just spazzed out, but it was dope. This next record is called Did My Dirt, um, featuring AB, Unknown, myself, and Treasure. Treasure came through on behalf of Biggs, so shout out to her and Biggs. Angel was intended to be on this record. She's on anyway on the Harvey Dent tape, but she couldn't make it to the session, so we knocked it out like this, and it's a great record. It's still a great record. It's about doing your dirt, but wanting to change up. Now, I ain't been dirty as a pig style. I ain't, I'm, I'm not that bad, you feel me? However, there's still some things that I'm not proud of that I've done in my lifetime. When I was doing those type of things, I know my nephew was coming of age, like 15, 16, 17. You know, some of them might have been 12 or 11. And it's just like, I know y'all probably can get a sense of what's going on. So let me kind of curve it a little bit. And y'all, not saying this because of me, because it's not. Because we got my uncles and my brother and everybody that's in their head. But all my nephews doing great, you know. Even Derek, before Derek passed, he was top of his job. He was head security. I'm talking about head security. Like, the only thing above him was the owner. So, yo, man. All my nephews great, man. So, you know, thank God for allowing me to write this song. So, to get it off my chest to know that at least I played my part. You know, if they was listening. And, you know, thank God for blessing them too, man. So, it's a hidden record. It's not on this tape. On, on, on YouTube. However, it's on my tape, on my files. And it's holding it down from the Harvey Dent tape with an unknown verse, minus my second verse. So once this album didn't come out, because this album was never released, I ended up taking that song, writing another verse, and putting it on Harvey Dent, which came out the same same year that this was supposed to come out. Before that, you got me and Unknown holding it down. So if you got Harvey Dent tape or, you know, you... Google it and you find that song. Imagine a verse from Unknown on it. Or just order the Law of Attraction USB Deluxe and get the take. I mean, it's, you got options. You got options, babe. You got options. You got options, babe. <laughs> Next joint is called Mind No My Money, produced by Low Pro. Now, we actually recorded this record like three years before in Richmond, before Un got out. But when he got out, we doing this project. We figured let's put Low Pro on the joint too, get some of his production, and throw Unknown on the verse. This next record is called Discipline, Loyalty, Honor, Respect. And that means so much to me that I got it tattooed on my arm. Me and Unknown, produced by Biggs. I got this tattoo in the same place that we was recording all this music at too. He had a tattoo party and I got a tattoo over there. So yeah, man, that's what it's about, man. Are you disciplined? Are you loyal? Are you honorable? Do you have respect? A lot of people don't even respect themselves. So how can you expect them to respect you? You know, but never mind now. You just make sure you respect yourself. You respect others. You're honorable. Make sure you're doing in private what you would do in public, as if somebody's watching, you know? Um, stay loyal. Stay loyal to the one above. Stay loyal to what's in here. Stay loyal to those you love. And stay disciplined. That's what being sticky is. Stay disciplined. Stay sticky. Stay on your grind. Stay smart. Stay strong. Stay in the gym. Keep doing it. Repetitiously. Discipline. But yeah, man. Shout out to Wordzilla once again. Man, this joint just look fly, man. Let me look at myself. Mm, look at myself. Man. I'm still looking at the hat. I'm just saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fly. I'm fly. This is my favorite Biggs beat. This record called Tokyo Drift. This is my favorite Biggs beat. I had so much fun rapping on this beat. No disrespect to Iron. But I wish I could have just had this beat all to myself, man. This beat is crazy, yo. Um, and Undid this thing, too. But we got a verse, a piece, and a back and forth joint up here, too. This beat is crazy, man. This beat is crazy. Oh, yeah. Pop Pop is not on YouTube. My bad. But all the rest of the songs, go check them out, man. Go check them out. But check this one out first. This is crazy. This next record is called Da Da Dee Da Da Do. It's like, it is what it is before it is what it is. So the way we structured our verses, it's just me and Un on this. I got the hook, me and Un got the verses. It's just like, we give you an example or give you a, a situation or scenario, and then da-da-dee-da-da-do. So 
you get you you'll get it. When you, you're gonna go listen to the project. I know you are because you haven't heard it yet. And if you have, then you know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, man, go check it out. Not yet. I got another song. But then go check it out. <laughs> I said another record, but I meant to. You ain't in a rush, is you? All right, bet, 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 bet. So look, this next one is called Fire Away. For anybody who's never heard me rap fast, refer to this record. This is when I did a speedball. And you got a sample that go fire away. Da, da, da. Fire up, fire up, fire away. So I played with the fire away. A lot, I think all of us did, matter of fact, at some point in our verses. So yeah, man, the fire away joint was fun. I like writing speedballs. I just don't be doing them, man. I don't be thinking people be listening. And I think sometimes I get so many, well, as artists, we get so many bars in a speedball. It's like, you ain't even catch everything I said, man. And you not going to go listen to it because you think it sound like... Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, yeah, man. Words do become things. Like hot bars. <laughs> this next record is called Murder Room. Me and Unknown. I'm pretty sure this is a dip set B. I'm not sure, though. But I don't know. Yo, we was getting beats from everywhere. We were still using J-Arms. We was using Bear Share, Lime... Let me stop giving up all my sources. And hey, look, we was getting our beats, man, but... I approach this record as if I were rapping with Dipset. And no, I don't have a Santana verse. Hey, no, I don't have a can wound verse. Jumpers jumping, leapers leaping. None of that. I just rapped as if I was rapping with Dipset. And salute to all of them, man. I'm just saying what y'all would be saying is if y'all heard their verses. I rock with Cam. I rock with UL. But yeah, man, this this is what it's called. It's called Murder One, man. Yes, we're talking about murdering the record. Like, yes, yes, we will murder this track. You You get on the track with me, I will murder you. Whatever yesterday's mindset, what we know today is that words become things. And through the power of your words, you can create anything. And I'm going to leave y'all with that. It's been another Project Breakdown. I'm out. Blue. And if you write then yeah. about money, then we ain't gonna speak. If it ain't my family, we ain't gonna eat. If it ain't no piss, then it ain't that heat. Niggas know what we do in the streets. If it ain't that big, then it ain't that beat. I be goddamn if a nigga won't be. But if you object, then just like Jack, you can get your issues every week. I be that nigga, Mr. Dot to the G. Yeah, I got what you need. You can get it any time of the day. No shorts, gotta come right with the pay. What I look like giving this fire away. 